hey everyone welcome back to new video so in this video we are going to create a jetpack compose spinner or you can say drop down so let's get started and see how we can do this so for that the first thing i am going to create is a composable naming main screen so this is our main entry point of our app and within this main screen i am going to create a surface naming modifier so modifier fill max size and within this surface i am going to create a box so box modifier dot fill max width all right now within this box i am going to create a row so within this box i am going to create a row modifier modifier dot clickable all right now i am going to create three different state in order to hold some values so the first is our list so this list is actually represent when our drop down is open so it is a list of simple string so one one two three four five i think this is enough for illustration and the second is our expanded so it this expanded is actually tell us whether the drop down is open or not all right so this value is come within a remember block mutable state of an initial value would be false and the third is current value the value which is selected initially or by the user actually or uh, remember mutable state of the first item by default we can change this current value when user select any other item within a list then this current value would be updated all right so now we are going to use these two state and this list in our spinner so we are having within our row and in the clickable i am actually use my expanded to just set a value expanded dot value so we are reverting the value of expanded so if it is a false then a user type onto our row then it will be true so within this row within this row we are going to use a text this is the anchor text the text which is appear on the drop down so this text is actually coming from our current value dot value and i am not going to give any kind of styling here because this is a very simple application and after this text i am going to create an icon so within this image vector i am using icons dot filled arrow drop down and i am passing null to my content description all right now i am going to create the actual drop down menu so drop down menu here we have two different parameter the first one is expanded so pass your expanded value here and on dismiss we want that our drop down would be closed so for that i am set my expanded value would be false all right now it is fine now i am going to iterate within my list item and after that i am going to create a drop down menu item and with on click if anyone click on to our text so we want that our current value would be updated so current value dot value is equals to it so this it is actually representing the string and then after we want that our spinner or drop down would be close so for that we are going to set the expanded value would be false all right now into our drop down menu item what we are going to see is actually depend what we put within this row scope so i am putting a simple text and pass it to it now i think 
everything is fine i am going to run this application into my emulator so for that i am copy this thing paste here and just give a run so finally our application will run and this is our final product when i click on to my drop down menu lot of drop down menu item will be visible so when i choose 5 it is updated the previous one so it is work just according to our need so that's all for this video and one more thing i forgot to add the alignment in our row so if you don't use this piece of code your drop down menu will be appear over here all right so that's all for this video and if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and like these videos all right thank you for watching this video